Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. A pair of tight ends will be on the field today looking to do whatever it takes to give their team an advantage. It's the Falcons going up against the Texans. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week four matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Just about a quarter of the way through the NFL season as we join you from the Georgia Dome. Jim Nance and Phil Sims, partner, look forward to sharing a very special afternoon with you. Yeah, Jim, I think it's going to be special because we have two teams that have special players on their side, and it's uh, always fun to watch them to see how athletic and how wide open the NFL has become. So, fans, they love it this way, so you're going to love this game. And Randy Bullock looks ready to get this one underway. And Devin Hester will be back deep for the opening kickoff. This game has officially begun. And here's Hester. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. Ryan's going to be the man at the helm today. Eight years of seasoning for this quarterback. Matt Ryan knows how to throw the football in rhythm. In other words, when he drops back and it's time to let it go, he does not hesitate. Good quick release and an accurate thrower. Falcons have it at the 29. Freeman's got it now on the draw. Here's our look at the Falcons offense. A model of efficiency a week ago without a single giveaway. Ryan will be taking this snap out of the pistol. Throws the pass. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. The Falcons will take the snap from the 40. And it's pushing with the big push up front to make the play. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down and 13. Takes another handoff. That's a gain of 10. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Ryan's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Freeman's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. Smith taking the handoff. Smith's tackle down at the 45. The Falcons running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. And now Ryan's going to take off. That's a ball that should have been caught. Let's talk about this defense at linebacker. He's had to come back from a couple of knee injuries. Brian Cushing. Yeah, he's the pride of Bergen Catholic High School in the state of New Jersey. When healthy, of course, we know one of the best inside linebackers in the NFL. The Falcons will take the snap from the 45. Ryan's on the move. Lays out and makes the play. Johnson's there to make the stop. Tough to blitz this offense, man. They are so well taught. And that time they pick up the blitz, and the quarterback throws it down the field to get a completion. First and goal from the seven. Freeman's got on the handoff. And that'll be a gain of about two. 
Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. The defense on its heels. Football sits at the five-yard line. Second and goal from the five. Freeman, a first drive, and a first touchdown. Bill, that's a terrific touchdown here late in the first, and they've now taken the lead. Shoot, touchdowns are terrific no matter what time you get them, though, Jim. But, hey, late in the first, what a way to answer for that offense. That was a really, really sharp drive. And the extra point is good. Ryan's going to look on now from the sidelines. That last drive, he contributed more than 50 yards in the air. The Texans ready to receive the kick. Short's going to run this one out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Mallet's coming out now for his first series. He's coming off a hit-or-miss game from a week ago. His quarterback rating on that occasion hovered right around 70. Ryan Mallet out of the University of Arkansas has one of the stronger arms in the National play before the quarter expires the Texans from the 22 and straight ahead Foster Collins is in on the tackle the Texans on offense here to start the second quarter The second quarter is underway with this snap. Foster tackled down. This time for six. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down and four. It's caught by Garrett Graham. Well, they call this route a lot of things. They call it a goal route, a nine route, or a fly route. And all of them mean the same thing. Run as fast as you can, get behind the defense. First down at the 32. Foster. And a gain of four. Foster's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The Texans take it from the 28. And straight ahead, Foster. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. All right, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. The Texans from the 27. Reception by Foster. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. First and ten. And it's batted down. All right, it's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. You've got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away. Second down and ten. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. He's in for the touchdown, but there is, there is a flag down. Holding offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. The Texans will take the snap from the 30. Reaches out and snatches it. And that's a gain of 13. 
Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy. Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch him. Nice job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes, and you need to stop the clock, so he gets it done. First and goal from the seven. Jones is, what a catch. Touchdown. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. That's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. Falcons ready to return the kick. Will they take any chances here before halftime after this game was just tied? Scores 7-7. Seven to seven. Hester's tackled down at the 36. The Falcons offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. The ball is fumbled. Well, but there's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive uh, ball carry that time. He knows he can get no more yards. He steps out of bounds to stop the clock. The Texans defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Devontae Freeman with the reception. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The Falcons doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. Lions running away from the pressure. Flag is down. He's in for the touchdown, but hold on a minute. There's a flag down. There's a flag away from the football. Well, Philly scrambled around and then he moved past the line of scrimmage when he made that throw. You know, all you have to do, Jim. You, as long as some part of your body is at or behind the line of scrimmage when the football leaves your hand, that's legal. That time, easy to see. Quarterback way past the line of scrimmage. And now Ryan's going to take off. He rips it right out of the wide receiver's hands. Oh, they make the quarterback get outside the pocket, and there is nobody open. They covered everybody. Falcons are at the line, facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. Makes the reception. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. No surprise. It's another third down stop, and this has been a first half where both of these defenses have had the upper hand, Phil. Yeah, it's been physical, it's been fast, and it's been good. Now defenses on the offense the best thing they've done is not make a major mistake to put their team in a hole so the second half is going to be interesting to watch airing it out who has it it's the offense with the catch unbelievable coach is going to have a hard time calling deep throws down the field when the quarterback shows the he can't even get it out there. That time he underthrows the football bad. First down at the 48. Graham's going to pull in the bullet pass. The Texans call a timeout. They're first. Let's go. The Texans from the 32. He'll throw it over the middle. That's a gain of eight. The Texans will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. This will be a field goal attempt from 41 yards out. Going to stop the game here with a timeout.
This will be a 41-yard field goal try. Drives it through for the field goal. Both teams head to the locker rooms after a half dominated by the defenses. We've got a close one on our hands, friends. We'll send it out to Larry Ridley to break down the half as we continue in a moment. Shorts running this one out. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Texans on a quest for their third straight scoring drive here, Phil. They've been having their way with that defense on these last few possessions. Well, let me say this, Jim. It's not that easy to score points in the NFL. Not the way they're making it look. And they're confident. They're, they look like they're fast. They're fresh. They're rested. It's been fun to watch. Foster's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run. But there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Let's go. The Texans from the 22. And Arian Foster has the catch. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than an incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. Mallet completed his last six passes. Hester's got it at the 29. Keeps his legs moving. Picked up a couple that time. Well, only a couple yards that time by the punt returner. Good defense by the punt coverage team. They get down their speed. They hustle. They're all around him. They only give up a couple yards. The Falcons will take the snap from the 30. Freeman's got the handoff on the counter. Moore's the one who brings him to the ground. Running backs. They love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. He's averaging about four yards a carry. The Falcons did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get it up, but what does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Midway into the third. Toss play. Freeman's tackled down at the 43. We don't always get to see defensive matchups these days, but today has been exactly that. Low scoring game, and it's because both defenses have really stepped up and done their job. Yeah, a lot of people look at games like this and go, oh, that's boring. I think it's fun to see because we don't get to see it too often. And what it does, it puts a lot of pressure on the players and especially the coaches to make decisions that are going to give their team a chance to win in a game like this. Third and one. Smith's going to take the handoff now. Ends up picking up three yards. The Falcons, good job that time, moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got, you're, you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Games 16. On defense nowadays, I don't care who's back there as a quarterback, you must be aware and not let them out of the pocket. Any quarterback in the NFL now can scramble out there and pick up some yards. Good job that time with the QB, and he gets the first down. Smith's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. One more snap, and that'll end the quarter. We head to the fourth quarter, and this is still anyone's ball game today, Phil Simms. Yeah, you know, when you see a game like this, they're kind of fun to watch where everything is so high scoring all the time now in the NFL. So whichever offense can find a way to get a score, then listen, that's going to go a long way to probably winning this game. 
The Falcons just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. First down and 10. six-yard line time and this one's running out and the defense knows it needs another stop Freeman's met after a gain of three if I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring I'll tell you what I'm doing I am sending everybody I am gonna gamble that it is a run if they have the courage to throw it let them if they do of course it'll be a touchdown marching down the field and taking their time Time is beginning to fade, but the quarterback knows his team still has a chance. He must produce something in a hurry. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back as we return from the two-minute warning. And the offense is trying to mount a late rally here. First down. Pressure on every snap now. And gains about one. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Power surge for six. Touchdown. Defense. Built to climb the penalty and let the play stand. The Falcons for the extra point. An extra point is good. So we've got a kickoff coming up, and it's all about defense now as they've taken the lead late in the fourth. the Texans ready to take that football down the field shorts gonna test the coverage this time and he's met head-on right there at the 20 the Texans offense coming back onto the field here desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You put this back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. The Falcons lined up in the nickel. Second and ten. Garrett Graham takes the ball picks up maybe three they immediately call for a timeout coming up third down a huge moment the Texans get set at the line needing to get to the 30 for a first third and seven and they sack him on third down and they force the quick three and out not much time left here, and they're down, so they're going to stay out here on fourth down. Let's go. Easy catch there. No one near him. That's his first reception today. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry-up offense. Good job. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Get ready. Second down and ten. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Play number six coming up on this drive. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. Mallet standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Complete to Hopkins. The Texans head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. 
trailing. They'll go hurry up rather than call a timeout. Now first and ten. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Let's go. Gets it out for the completion. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. A critical moment in this game as it's third down. You know, you go to the hurry-up offense so you can get a high number of plays in, but also you don't want to use the timeout. So they're coming off an incompletion. They do have a timeout, so they could go to the middle of the field if they want to here in the late stages. You're exactly right. That's what it does for you. You know, the defense is not dumb. They're going to protect deep. They're going to protect the sidelines. They want you to throw it underneath. And if you do and you get tackled, you're right. Use that timeout. Mallet's inability to produce the conversion on fourth down in all likelihood signals the end of their last chance to win this game. In situations like this, I know the coaches and his teammates all expect him to come through, but not that time, just, just not a good throw. The Falcons' offense is on the field for a victory bow. One kneel down, and then they can celebrate, Phil. What a feeling. Yeah, it's got to be great for them, and what a difference. You look at them walking on the field, you can see the emotion, the body language, and look at the defense. Everybody head down, knowing all that work was, was for nothing because you did not win the game. This was a hard-fought win out there for one side today. Not much scoring going on, but doesn't matter. It's a W. Yeah, it sure is. Hey, listen, that was fun to watch. When you see a low-scoring game now in the NFL, it means, well, we had some hard hitting. It was hard-fought and fun to watch. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL.